YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, with another with another sneaker rotation. Um, I notice I end up like um, skipping a week or two or whatever, but I just want to give you guys uh, just more, just a you know I had other stuff already queued up for y'all, like you know like sneaker pickups or whatever. So like some of my stuff was kind of late, you know what I mean. So I didn't want to be showing. Uh, a kick that I haven't reviewed yet like part of my sneaker rotation so stuff just didn't too much line up and stuff ended up coming out later than it should uh, when it should have been coming out a little bit uh, earlier so so point is I'd rather y'all see a review and then the sneaker rotation so y'all uh, you know so it won't be completely new to y'all like uh, the kick won't be completely new so <clears throat> anyway this is my sneaker rotation man this is another week and y'all know what I do now my sneaker rotations usually come out at the earliest Saturday night or Sunday and at the latest Monday so I really try to keep it in though in that three-day kind of like span so whenever this come out that's when it'll be out thanks for all the subs thanks for everybody that's been rating commenting, and subscribing and just looking at the videos so yep um also go check out my previous videos as well like my talk video where i talk about the quality versus quantity um and also is uh my other talk video my latest one with the whole um <clears throat> is is early jordan reviews like kind of ruining the experience of jays or whatever when you finally get them on release day and then it just end up being this constant rotation and people just on to the next the next one and, and do we marinate with the shoes and all that stuff so go check all that stuff out man so starting off with sunday i end up wearing the cardinal seven now this is one that's been in my sneaker rotation for uh probably about two weeks or so so uh i definitely just for some reason just had a craving to rock the cardinal seven i won't be surprised if the, these about to come back out soon man um i don't know if i did a review on this channel about these kicks just when i was just like reviewing them in general but i know i do have a my jordan seven uh collection video and this was part of it and uh og collection colorways only one i didn't have at the time was maybe uh, was the bordeaux seven so I still need to look for those before the price jump and uh, yeah so these joints I end up wearing Sunday and then Monday I end up wearing these as well so I'm just like you know what I'm gonna just get these shoes some time um, they're already kind of broke in because I had these since 2011 but I end up rocking these joints again because you know I got over a, a little over 130 pairs of kicks it's 360 days out the year and uh 365 my bad so you know you get 30 days a month you wear one kick a day most of the time i don't never too much really wear one kick in the morning then another one in the afternoon or at night or something like that but so i just wanted to actually get this one some wear because i didn't wear as much and you know i just was kind of missing a cardinal seven i just wanted a nice clean white and red kind of like subtle throwback 90s kind of like vibe so one of the things that that i actually like about the shoe was revived again in me and then too i just wanted to actually just rock this shoe and plus the sevens is like my top three favorite jordan silhouette so so sunday and monday i wore the cardinal seven so on to the next one tuesday i end up wearing a nike air tech challenge this is the one with the photo blue and I forgot the name of this this uh, bright pink at the bottom definitely a classic slept on shoe you can find these probably for a little bit of nothing now I, I, I just recently looked up to see which um, Nike Air Tech challenges they have now on eBay of course the the, the mecca of all <laughs> used shoes uh, so they didn't have too many more but they do have, you know, they, they, I remember at one point a year or two ago, these was down in price. The Nike Air Tech Challenge 2s came out in 2014, like real hard. Crazy, 
colorways, all that stuff, man. So I enjoyed it. I'm, a, I'm definitely a big fan of this model. So I got a lot of colorways. I even made a collection video um, on, a, on my Nike Air Tech Challenge 2s because I really got that many colorways. Uh, but it's not that many. It's probably enough for like five to seven days or something like that. So I could literally go a week just wearing nothing but AirTech challenges. And I did that on purpose because I was like, man, I want to be able to go a week wearing this. So because I was really, really 2014, I was really, really super obsessed with this shoe <clears throat> because I was actually looking for the original um, colorway with the hot lava and the black pink and all that stuff. I just like my kick so much, so I know y'all probably like y'all could skip the video or whatever to <clears throat> see the next day or whatever. But um, but yeah, this is just my love for kicks, man, and that's just the way it is. So the photo blue and all that stuff, I actually like it. Other colors I got as well. I, I'm still thinking about literally. Y'all might just literally see one sneaker rotation one of these weeks where I'm just wearing nothing but uh, Air Tech challenges, um, and then I might end the weekend off with a few hybrid air tech challenges or something i don't know something like that because the colorways was definitely nice and just to reiterate and get back to my main point as far as these go in general which is why i kind of like went off the edge and did just go to the next day in the first place these on ebay is actually starting to dry up i remember you used to be able to find these for like 30 bucks 40 bucks 50 bucks or something like that in good condition now they're selling trash on ebay for the most part like the used ones like a dude go cut the grass and hoop and go be a mechanic in a pair of air tech challenges and then want to flip them for like 30 to 50 bucks so like i think these are slowly starting to dry up and the price on these are going to slowly start going back up like with all things when they start you know the colorways and the, um you know start getting scarce meaning you know what i mean uh, just getting like limited again and getting rare I should say not limited but more like rare so uh, yeah so I, I, I it's, it's probably like two or three more colorways I want and definitely the US opens with the patent leather crazy clean that's one of like my favorite premium air tech challenge uh, twos and the French opens is pretty good too but yeah so I end up wearing this on Tuesday man so you know go pick up one of these real quick you probably got to salvage through and get a little so you won't get no garbage they selling garbage right now for like 30 50 bucks but two years ago or a year ago you used to be able to get damn near shoe damn near like new almost brand new for like 30 or 50 dollars or whatever so a lot of people starting to wear these out now and i guess across the country you know what i mean they starting to beat these up and that's the cool thing about being in the kicks once somebody beat them up and you come back out and crack them on their head. This was a slept on one. But I prove a point with this one though, man. This was a slept on kick. But <laughs> when I come back out and crack them in their head, I think I'm like, what the hell is those? <clears throat> Wednesday, I end up wearing the Asics. Go look at my review on this joint. Definitely clean. Definitely fly. Definitely fresh. This that grape soda. So yeah. I end up turning the, uh, uh, some younger dudes heads with this shoe right here. I think they, you know, I'm surprised they was lightweight in. Well, I probably shouldn't say too surprised, but this was a runner. A runner can look more so, is fit more lifestyle like versus an actual like basketball shoe. So, yeah, um, a few people actually asked where I got these from. She said they look hard, you know, crazy. Night quill. No, this is not even night quill. Just that. This that this that grape cough medicine right here. This that lean, you know what I mean. So that's what I wore Wednesday, Thursday. End up coming through with the orange soda, and you know you got that pumpkin orange, crazy, that Chico stick orange, crazy. Some more younger guys asked me about these. Dude literally thought I paid a hundred bucks for these. Again, for the grape ones, I paid thirty five. For the orange sodas, I paid like twenty two, twenty three, something like that. I hooked them up and everything, gave him the website name. It was the Ratukin website or whatever. So, you know, hopefully he come up on some kicks for less than 30. Or if he do get hit upside the head a little bit, maybe he just spent a little over 30 or whatever. But it's definitely worth it, especially for him to confuse this with like a $100 kick. So, yep. And this is why I wore Thursday. Friday, I end up wearing a great five now. The weather it has been like it hasn't even been winter it just been literally it's like winter damn near was skipped and it's been feeling like the spring the great fives is a summer 
it's a summer shoe and it's a spring shoe to me. Now, yeah, it's not a rule against wearing great fives or whatever year round, but to me, this this sneaker screams spring and summer. So since it feels like spring outside, damn near summer, because it was just 71 the other day, um, I end up having to break these out. So classic, fly, fresh. This hard ass leather got a go though, but what can we do? Next shoe. That's what I wore for Friday. Lastly, Saturday, I end up wearing these joints right here. And this is the Nike Free Fly Knit. Did a little seven or eight minute video on this. Um, really, to me, I like the wearing these best with joggers. So I don't even know if I even might wear these to work yet or something like that. But I don't know. The jeans, as far as wearing these with jeans, these might look a little bit better with like a pin roll or something. Or definitely some skinny jeans, obviously. But my favorite way to see this shoe is literally with the jogger. Because the jogger can actually, you know, you could scale your jogger up and just pull it up. And make this still look a little bit more sock like why this still looks more full with a foot so rate comment and subscribe chime in whatever whatever y'all can finish doing whatever y'all doing this has been nail good fella good fella nail weekly seven sneaker rotation stay tuned i got more content on the way peace